Palin versus Letterman. Who is right here? Joining me now to talk about this, we have Jeff Tubin, CNN senior political analyst. Janelle Snowden, VH1 News correspondent. Sam Cedar, co-host of Air America's Break Room Live. And in Washington, Susan Molinari, former Republican congresswoman from New York and senior principal in the law firm Bracewell and Giuliani. Welcome to everybody. Um, Susan, uh, congresswoman, let me, let me begin with you because um, I know you have very strong feelings ab about this. Do you think you crossed the line? I think he did. I, I, I don't think this was a funny joke. I think it was a mean joke. And let me say I take him at his word that he thought this was a joke about an 18-year-old. But still, this is an 18-year-old who is 18 years old, um, who didn't say she wanted to run for office. Look, those of us who stand up and say, I want to be vice president, I want to be congressman, um, but, you know, I, I want to have my own TV show, you won't understand that there's going to be a, a bit of a bullseye on you. Here's an 18-year-old girl who has gone through hell and back by standing up with her family um, and, and, and taking care of her child. And, and I just, I think, again, I don't understand how anybody thinks this was funny. I, I mean, I think it's just, he's a late night host. He crosses the line. But when you cross the line with an 18-year-old, I just think we have gotten to the point where the jokes now are just really mean and have no impact. Well, Sam, uh, Janelle, let me get you both to comment on this. I mean, where do you, where do you, where is the line? Where do you draw the line between pro being provocative and being offensive when you're, when you're commentating it as these guys do on the late night talk shows? Well, I don't know if he's commentating. He's making a joke. But, you know, that said, I'm a father. And, uh, if someone made a joke about, uh, Alex Rodriguez knocking up my daughter, I would take offense. But that's because I'm a Red Sox fan. I mean, in the final analysis, uh, I mean, it's a joke. I mean, people laugh. He told it again last night, and people laughed again. Uh, so it is a funny joke, and he is. He's just a late-night comedian. And so it's not as if he's delivering political commentary. He's simply making a joke, and he's done it for, he's done it for years and years, and he's done it about all sorts of people, all different ages. Janelle? Well, I agree. Um, did he cross the line? Absolutely. Do we rely on him to? Absolutely. If he didn't, would we watch? Probably not. However, um, any decent mother would defend her daughter's honor, and I think she's doing that. At the same time, of course, you have cynics who are like, oh, great, everybody's winning because Dave's getting more and more fodder, and she's getting another 15 minutes. Every time she speaks out, he gives her, or she gives him um, more, more to work with. I mean, right. you know, she's I, going I, on I have, have, I have a different morning. view. I, I have a problem with the slutty line. I, I think that was in a, totally inappropriate. But, I mean, let's remember, Bristol Palin has now become a national spokeswoman on this issue of unwed motherhood for teenagers she has decided to become a public figure on this issue she's been on all the talk shows so i think a joke about bristol palin is actually fair game you know if you want to be private fine be private but she's not a private person anymore susan that's a fair point that jeff just made in addition to that i mean you have to know this given the life you've had i mean kids are very much a part of of the modern political campaign Yes, they are. Uh, they are in 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 all Republicans and Democrats. Yeah, um, and I get Jeff's point that she got out there and gave a few speeches, but I think we really have to just keep in mind that she's 18 years old. Um, we have had other political families who have had their kids go out there and speak up on issues and take positions and campaign for their mothers and fathers, and we've never seen this be done before. Again, I think the difference is the age of this young woman who has had, you know, some pretty difficult uh, moments in, in, in the glimmer. And again, I, I mean, I, you know, I'm not saying he should be taken off the air. I'm just saying I don't think it was funny. I think it was mean, and I think he does owe. You know what? I think he owes every young woman out there who who has gone through the same situation or single people who have had babies on their own an apology is it just Bristol Palin who's allowed to have these jokes I mean I think he's kind of framing a, a whole group of people out there who who have been through the same situation and have stood pretty strong about it Ooh. not funny all right let me also pick up on Jeff's other point which is the comment that he found offensive what the slutty flight attendant right. comment I, I mean it is is Sexism, I guess, more acceptable than racism <laughs> when you're when you're making jokes like this in, in a way. I don't think either is particularly ex acceptable. I just think that David Letterman is a comedian. It's his job to make fun of people. And when Sarah Palin, when running for vice for the vice presidency, had a teenage daughter who became pregnant, I think she sort of became fair game for comedians but everywhere. She's always she's been an easy. Why is Sarah Palin such an easy target? She, well, because every time she opens her mouth, she she helps the comedian. She goes halfway for the comedian there. I mean, she <laughs> it's like t-ball with her. It's not even softball. I mean, she just literally holds it out there. And I, I mean, frankly, I don't even think that that joke was sexist per se. I mean, Letterman but, has. But, I, I mean, look, there's certain rules. I think. Look, we were talking about jokes, but I, I don't think it's fair to say it's just a joke. You can have.
have offensive jokes. It's not a free reign. Just if you say it's just a joke, you can say anything. It just seems to me that referring to a public figure, a woman, as a slut, it just, you know, that's a line well, you, you shouldn't cross. He didn't cross. do that. I mean, he said, he talked about her slutty, slutty makeup. Well, no, exactly. but he, but there's a big difference there because he's talking about appearance. Nothing and he's made the jokes. than analyzing jokes word by word. Well, exactly. You know, it, it, exactly. It's, uh, All right. <laughs> I think or is she not the woman who posed in a bikini? I think that she's, like Jeff said, right. I mean, sort of made time, herself yeah. fair game. All right, we got to end it there. Many thanks to the panel. Um, some of you are sticking around for uh, much more on the other side. tonight.